Okay. One, two, three. Writer, producer, director, photographer. Man, the list can go on and on. A young man only at the age of 23. Christopher Cobbs has laid many layers of bricks down, building his foundation for his dream of becoming the next Tyler Perry. <laughs> Chris, thank you so much for the time. I understand that this is the last show of the 2018 holiday season for the Gifts musical. Yes. How are you feeling? I'm feeling excited. I hope that um, a lot of people come out tonight. Yesterday was great. Um, we had a little bit of, you know, glitches here and there, but I'm, I'm confident that tonight's going to be epic, so I'm excited for people to come out and see it. Okay, okay. This is your fourth year running the musical. Yes. And every year it gets better and the crowd gets bigger. So what are some of the behind the scene moments that were for you makes you doing productions worth it? Well, uh, I think just putting people together that, are, that I find talented is, is amazing. I feel like there are a lot of talented artists in the Bay Area, but um, something about collaboration, like it's just epic to me. When, when people use their gifts to make something big and greater, it's always, you know, it's, it's always awesome to see. And so that's what the gift is. It's just a lot of talented singers, actors, dancers coming together to do something great for the community. And yeah, it's a lot of camaraderie amongst. Okay, teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, okay, right. we love it. We love it here at Crowner Presents. Okay, so now we understand that you're the man behind the scenes. Okay, yes. <laughs> so you're not physically on the stage, but do you still get nervous? I do get nervous. Um, being the writer and director, you just want to make sure that everything that you envision for the show comes to life. People receive it. It makes sense. The actors are comfortable. Um, and there's a lot of moving parts with the show, so you just want to make sure everybody does their part, and it's great. And, you know, it's, it's a little pressure. If people don't like it, it's kind of like, well, it's on you. So, yeah, I do get nervous. I was really nervous yesterday, but I do get nervous. It's normally get nervous. Okay, okay. Now, like I said before, you know, those are just some of the hats that you wear, being a writer, producer, director. Um, what are some of your previous employment jobs that you feel has helped develop your skills for running your own production company? Well, I did a lot of work with iHeart uh, Media, which kind of, kind of, it was a lot of grunt work, I felt like, but that kind of laid the foundation and like got me really hungry and like just working shows like Summer Jam and like being able to be around, be in the industry. Um, it was pretty cool. So that, that kind of got me started and wanted me to like, okay, I'm doing so much work for this big company. Now I'll, let me do some work for myself. Okay. Um, so have you always had jobs that related to your passions or have you ever worked like a regular nine to five? That was actually my only job I ever had. Wow. <laughs> How many people can say that? Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. What would be your advice to another young person who's striving to make their dreams their reality? Um, just really never give up. I know people hear that all the time, but I feel like, um, especially as a young person, it's easy to be influenced by others. And, and it's easy to get discouraged by like seeing what your peers are doing and then you look up and you're like, oh, well, I'm not there yet or they're here and, and I'm here. Just don't ever give up because everybody has a different journey and a different path and, you know, we're all, God has a route for everybody and, you know, you'll get to your destination eventually, but, you know, your path is going to be different. So it might take a little longer, but never give up and also be true to yourself, you know, Just stick in it, stick, stick to it for the right reasons and, and really, um, hone your passion um in your dating life you know I always, see, I always gotta you know young people were all about dating too okay so let's keep it real so you're a visionary a goal achiever you're kind-hearted thank you you're a businessman so what type of lady attracts you somebody funny i like to laugh so, okay um of course someone who's also she has to be goal-oriented as well, but I like to crack up a lot. Um, so, of course, she has to be goal-oriented as well and like have a passion. Doesn't necessarily have to be in the same field, um, but somebody hilarious, you know. I like to laugh, I like to have a good time. That's, that's the stuff in life that really matters, you know. Personality has to be fire. So yeah, that's kind of. Okay, so she can look like, um, she of can look like whatever it's all. Too, <laughs> it's about, it's really about uh, whether she's genuine or not, you know what I mean? Okay. So, yeah. The heart. Dope. Okay. What's next for Cobb's production? Um, really just trying to grow and, um, you know, of course, more live productions. I want to eventually do maybe some film work, 
a short film, stuff like that. I have a lot of ideas. It's just really about tapping in and like actually doing them. So definitely live production. Maybe look out for some webisodes, stuff like that. Okay. Now, you're doing big things. So, if people wanted to be a part of your cast, how can they reach you to audition or set something up like that? Well, you can definitely follow me on Instagram at It's Cops Music, or I have a website, um, It's Cops.com. You can email me at Christopher Cobbs at It's Cops.com. And we can definitely set some up. We don't normally do auditions just because I've always been afraid people won't show up. So, I kind of just handpick people. But, of course, if you are interested, don't hesitate to hit me up and we can definitely. What's up, Bay Area? I'm Chris Cobbs, and I rock with Crown Him Presents. Hey. <laughs>